Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to schedule a serverless workflow with AWS Rep Functions and Amazon CloudWatch. So basically we use CloudWatch to help monitoring and send the logs to the CloudTrail system. So automating, automating how you respond to operational events for resources in your AWS account can help reduce the operational overhead of your AWS cloud infrastructure. Now we can run a serverless workflow on a time-based schedule using CloudWatch Events Trigger. Amazon CloudWatch Events Provider, a near real-time stream of system events that describe the changes and notification for the AWS resources. To start with, we will create an IAM role. So let me just sign into the console. There it is. I am inside the console under recently visited services. I'm going to click IAM. And if you do not see IAM under recently visited services on the top under services, click on it, type in IAM. It will route you to the same screen. Then I'm going to create a role. Click on roles, click on create a role. Step functions, permissions, here it is. And now the name of the role would be Step Functions Basic Execution. Here you go. Create a role. Step Functions Basic Execution. Awesome. Now the role is created. Now we're going to do a step function state machine. We'll create a simple independently running state machine using a pass state. A pass state simply passes its input to its output and doesn't actually perform any work. In a real world scenario, the serverless workflow can do whatever you need to do. You could coordinate multiple Lambda functions like we showed in the previous video. Now we will go to the step functions console. Here it is. Come on. And if you do not see step functions console, like the same services, step functions it will take you to the screen. Under various predefined state machines, one of the series get a state machines using the hello world. On the create state, select templates, choose hello world. Template, hello world. Get started quickly with a common step function. It's already made a basic example using a pass state. Hello world. This is the logic. It will pass this input to its output. That is it. Click on next. Existing IAM role step functions basic execution or you can use an uh, ARN. ARN would be this. So let's see. click on this. This is the role ARN. You can type in this as well. It will also work. Create the state machine. My step function is created. Okay, let's make simple modification on your state machine. On line 2 and line 5, replace hello world to do something. Okay, if I say edit, do something, do something. Click on save. Press save anyway. Okay, it's my ASL definition. Oh, okay. I've not made a change. I'll fix that later. So I'm gonna go here. I'm not gonna edit it. I'm gonna go to Cloud Watch under services. Here you go. Cloud Watch will create an Amazon Cloud Watch events rule. As soon as it loads up, here it is. Under events, click on get started. We'll fix rate of five minutes. I'm gonna create a rule under events. 
the targets at target now it says build or customize an event pattern or set a schedule to invoke target so i'm going to set a schedule for the event to get triggered fixed rate of five minutes and i can use the cron expression to run at a certain point of time and target select target to invoke when an event matches your event part so when this event matches i'm going to add a target that would be invoked it would be my step function uh, step function state machine the name would be hello world condition would be matched event right it says pass the entire event to the function and events to your step function state machine let's say, let's say it creates a role to not have a role type in configure details so the rail would be execute state machine create a rule perfect a new execution of your state machine will now execute every minute i have five minutes so it says customize how your state machine handles input and output next we will customize customize how the state machine handles input and output understanding how information flows from state to state and learning how to filter and manipulate this data will help us to effectively design and implement workflows in the AWS step functions. Back in the step function, we'll do click on edit. So I go in my step function. Here, here, here. In the state machine definition window, refer to the line 7 of your state machine, the result field in the past state specifies the output that should be passed on to the next state. Result is hello world. Since your state machine only has one state, the message work complete will be passed to the end state of your workflow. Exactly. You may recall that a step function pass state simply pass it its input to its output. You can use the result path field to modify the output of a state. For example, you can replace the state input juices. The combine the state input with this add a new line up seven and type in. I don't think. Okay. Save. This will combine the details of the CloudWatch event that invoked the state machine execution with the output of the past state in the work complete. Now that we have enabled the CloudWatch event, event rule, CloudWatch is triggering an execution of your state machine workflow every, oh, I, I did not change it to five, I changed it to five minutes. Okay. Let me see if I can change it to one minute. Here is my events, here are my rules. Right. Actions, edit. You can change it to one. Click on update rule. Here's your step. This schedule workflow. Let me check it where it comes. I have executed it. And you see this. Uh, I have only executed this. But this execution is what fired by the CloudWatch event. When the condition, when the rule matched to check for every one minute. So if you would go into CloudWatch events, this is my, this is my rule. Here, click on it. It is showing. Show metrics for the rule. invocation and the trick so this is how you set these things up and then you can delete you can repeat it for different executions of your state machine and on the output you will see the details spent so i will suggest you to delete all these things when your 
lab is done so like i'm gonna go to cloud watch events i'm gonna click on rule i'm gonna so that you do not get charged unnecessarily go to step functions go over here state machine delete if you are here here Click the role that you created to lead it. So this was the topic that I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you liked the video. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Mention in your feedback in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next time. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.